Are you on the lookout for a well presented three bedroom semi detached property within walking distance of Retford Town Centre and Morrison's Supermarket? Then take a look at this guys, today we're out on the Glebe in Retford to show you number 27. This property is really well presented. Inside you've got a modern high gloss kitchen which leads through into a separate dining area. You've also got the downstairs toilet and then further along the hallway you've got a good sized living room which leads through into the conservatory and in there you've got doors that open up to the back garden. Upstairs you've got three bedrooms, two of which are good sized doubles and then the family bathroom. Outside we've got plenty of off-road parking with this driveway which leads along the side of the property to the garage. We've also got beautiful front and back gardens with plenty of colouring for this time of year. Glebe Close is a cul-de-sac so there's no through traffic here so this location is absolutely ideal for families. The property is available to view now both virtually and physically. If you want to do that give us a call the number is 01777 808777 email hello at nicholsonsestateagents.co.uk or DM us on the socials. I'm Mark Nicholson and I'm Rose Salter from Nicholson's Estate Agents. Join us now for a video tour. The property sits in this quiet cul-de-sac location. It's just a short walk from Retford Town Centre as well as Morrison's Supermarket. The property is also within the Elizabethan Academy catchment area. We have this block paved driveway which leads down the right hand side of the property. The door here leads through into the kitchen and the driveway goes down to the garage and this gate which leads into the garden. So we've come now through that side door into the kitchen and on the right here we've got the downstairs WC. The kitchen cabinets are really modern with this high gloss finish and they're sat underneath a granite effect work surface with matching splashback. In the kitchen we've got the integrated oven and four ring gas hob and an extractor fan over. In here we've also got an integrated under counter fridge as well as a washing machine. So leading through now into the dining room, this is a really good sized room and we've got windows which overlook the rear garden. Back through the kitchen we've got the hallway, on the left is the main entrance door into the property and then through the right hand door here we've got the sitting room. This is a really good size and really bright room, we've got the gas fire in here as well. So this leads through into the conservatory. The conservatory's got tiled flooring and double doors leading through into the rear garden. The block paving from the driveway continues through into the rear garden, providing a really nice seating area. The garden is fully enclosed by this panel fencing, and it's got the trees to the rear, meaning it's not overlooked from the back at all. So in the right hand corner here we've got the shed and the greenhouse. There's rockery and flower beds around the remainder of the property. The garden's been really well maintained and it looks pretty all year round. Back inside now, we're going upstairs to the first floor. We've got the window at the top of the stairs, which makes this landing really nice and bright. So we're through now into bedroom number three. So this is the smallest of the bedrooms, but it makes up to a really good size single. And you've got the fitted wardrobes behind the door there. Through now into the master bedroom. This is a really good size double. You've got plenty of fitted wardrobes. These have got rails and shelving within them. And this really big window, which overlooks the rear garden.
into the family bathroom. This is a three piece suite with the toilet, wash hand basin, panel bath and the shower over. And finally into the second bedroom. Again, a good size double. And you have got the built-in wardrobe in here as well. And that has got a rail and cupboard space above. And again, nice big window overlooking the rear garden.